Well, today we're going to just do a quick demonstration on how to make oat milk or oat creamer, depending on what you're using it for. Um, we make oat milk every day in order to have it for our oats and fruit in the morning. And we also, when we're having coffee, we make a creamer out of oat milk and that uses just a little bit less water. So it's the same recipe, but just a little less water. So there is a difference between oats, oat groats, and rolled oats. You can make it with either one that you have. Um, lately I've been making it with the Polis oat groats because it comes out thicker. Oh my God. Um, I got these online. It was a bulk order, 15 pounds. It comes out to about a dollar forty something a pound. So it's really not that um, expensive, and you can make a lot of milk, especially if you can't get to the store right now with what's going on in the world. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in one cup of the whole oats. Put the, these aside. And I put in, when I'm making oat milk, I put in four cups. When I'm making a creamer, I put in three cups, so it's a little bit thicker. And then I like to have it slightly sweet, so I put in three dates. You can adjust that depending on how sweet you like your milk to taste. I put in a teaspoon of vanilla, because I like my milk vanilla flavored. Oops, a little bit more. Now it's just more celery. And I put in a pinch of salt. Just a slight pinch. And I'm going to close that baby up. And we mix it for one minute. So when that's all done, got a nice beautiful creamy mixture but it needs to be filtered first so what I do is I use um, I bought a like a commercial grade almost nut milk bag this is a the company called Bella Mai but there's lots of different nut milk bags online you can get them in some stores and you can get them at Amazon but you so, like these I mean they, they've been pretty durable I mean this one's really durable I've used cheesecloth and sometimes some of the pulp does squeeze through and it starts to like get really mushy. This is really wonderful and very easy to clean. So you put your nut milk bag in a container, you pour all the milk through it. Every little drop. So what you have to do now is you have to let it sift through the bag. So this usually takes a little bit of squeezing. And you can see all the milk just comes through, but it's going to hold all the pulp on the inside. This takes probably about a minute or so to get it all out really well. And as you do it, you'll notice that your hands are a little bit slimy feeling. That's actually the good part of the milk, so people are always complaining that their oat milk when they make it is slimy. It's supposed to be. Those are the water soluble vitamins that are coming through the fiber, the water soluble fiber. And that's the good stuff, so we want it. Your colon loves that. Yes, you're going to be very happy. Your body's going to thank you for all this delicious milk. And there was an article I just shared today on oat milk, and it talked about all the vitamins and benefits and antioxidants that oat milk gives. So, for the longest time, I was buying silk almond milk, but that has some sort of preservatives in it, and um, I know some other milks have like carrageenan, carrageenan, however you say it. And they have whiteners in it. And, and they have things thickeners. to make it different colors. This is just plain, fresh, natural oat milk. So I know you already said, but um, so just to make it thicker for creamer, you just add right. this, this less is water. Actually, I'm making this for creamer. Um, this was for three cups of water, and if you're making it for oat milk, you put in four cups of water, and that's the only difference for me. 
I know some other people may have other recipes, but this seems to work just fine. So at the very end, you got just little bit of drips that come, and you can see on my hand, it's kind of like slimy. It's okay. I know it's not the way you expect milk to feel, but it is the way it's supposed to be. And I know, you know, we've thought about doing something with the leftover pulp. We haven't yet. Maybe well, I'll come up with a sometimes. recipe. Well, we have sometimes. In the past, we have. I think we did it with almond pulp. And yeah. I have used this, some of the pulp, like in, um, as like oat in a recipe. I have used some of this pulp. But this one, for some reason, the oats don't come out as easily as the almonds do from the bag. I can show you what it looks like. So the inside of the bag just has leftover the pulp. And then, just take my little... Oh, I love your bottles. Yeah, I got these online too, the two milk bottles. I got one for milk and one for creamer. And then I have a little funnel. And I just pour my milk in. Now I know this after a few minutes has a tendency to separate, but then you just shake it up and it's right. a, a, as good as new. In fact, we, we make um, lattes with this and we have a frother that heats up the milk and froths at the same time and it just is amazing how good it is and what's the company's name i know it's on the cap of the oh, bottle what makes this it's called the dairy shop i know dairy shop. Stinks, but no but i i think that's just so cool i mean we're making and the website to get the bottles it's called Bev betterbeveragebottles.com or shenandoahomesteadsupply.com see the top of the bottle there. And my oat groats I got online from a place called Ryan Severson Farms. I got it on Amazon. And then it's 15 pounds. This was a big giant bag. I just finished it, but I have another one coming. And there you go. We've got our oat creamer for our lattes this morning. <laughs>